Hello guys, today I'm Brianna and today I'm in Indonesia. Hello everyone, I'm from in I'm in Indonesia and today I'm gonna be telling a storytelling here. So I hope you guys are interested interesting in here, okay? So today you're probably wondering why am I not using a book book this called this you can only use the book once you know whether if you know whether it, whether you want to do with the book or not. So now I'm gonna be telling here is George goes to the bookstore. So one day there was a monkey named George and with a with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. They were going to the brand new bookstore. So I bet I think maybe all of you went to bookstores before. And you can already tell me what is it. So when they were the, so when they went to the bookstore, they were shocked to see zigzag lines of people buying the books. The most book that was actually being chosen, uh, chosen is actually Penny the Penguin. I hope you guys, and also I hope that is also the nicest story ever. So. They also they start to go around the around buying some books to the village song. Well George was actually was actually flipping pages. His friend the, the man with the yellow hat say Don't wander too far away because you don't want to get the lost and don't and don't want to miss your sickness. So George said, Okay. So he began to want so he began to walk around trying and find a film book. But in the middle of the time, when George was happy flipping pages, he could smell, he could suddenly smell the delicious smell of banana bread. And George was a bit curious because no bookstore or library would never allow food or drink. So he said, could there be food in a bookstore? So he started to go to the direction of that mill and found a small cafe and he watched as people helped themselves with a square of a bit of banana. So there he there said uh, take a bite of one banana bread whether it is good or not. So he took a bite and it was very delicious and he keeps on reaching for one another, after one another and after one another. Well, the man with the red, uh, with the, well, the man with the yellow hat was actually one, was actually going to buy some books. So, so George had a bit of idea, and he saw he was leaping from bookshelf to bookshelf, from bookshelf when he saw some boxes at the front. And he said, "Why are the books inside those boxes? And they could have just been displayed like those in the dining room area." So he began to wonder too much and saw a dinosaur pollution. So he actually climbed up the dinosaur riders and also saw his favorite Victoria books of dinosaurs. So so he had a wonderful idea with the a new book of Penny the Penguin. He started to make a huge tower with this. And that so he the tower was as tall as the man with the yellow hat. So everyone and one boy actually said, Hey, look, that monkey is literally making a tower. Everyone had a wonderful surprise of that monkey. So then suddenly the book manager says, Hey, don't open the why you should have done that. He did that. Those were her signatures. So but George was still having lots of fun. And he couldn't even hear them. And that's when finally the man with the yellow hat, the manager of the, uh, of the bookstore came and said, Wow, what a wonderful thing which actually had them to, which actually George made. And then the bookman bookstore manager said, Yeah, that is actually a very, very impressive talent. I think maybe we can we can tell the author what he did. So George was excited because he would get to finally meet the new author. So the author said to George, 
good town. Now I'm finding these so we can help. So after minutes and hours, the books were finally done. And then the book manager, the author said this, wait, George, I have one more book left. So here's what I wrote. The note, the inside the book was a note saying to my new friend, George. So George had a wonderful time at the bookstore and was very happy because he couldn't come uh, because he couldn't wait to go back to the bookstore. This is the end of the story and I hope you guys always see the interior of George. But if not, you can just come to my biome and see what he looks like. Make sure to stop, subscribe and like the video because next it will be wonderful. Bye!